2020 was a year full of pain, fear, and uncertainty. COVID-19 brought lives across the globe to a screeching halt, and everyone has been forced to adapt to working, learning, and passing the time with minimal social interaction. Whether by mandate or personal responsibility, most spent significantly more time in their own home in 2020. In the time of unparalleled economic stress, the video game industry experienced a massive boom in the spring and summer months. Confined to the living rooms, people across the globe leaned on the games industry for entertainment, for social interaction, and above all else, for escape. After being delayed to 2020, Nintendo's Animal Crossing New Horizons released right when the United States started to quarantine, and the game's lighthearted atmosphere and social multiplayer proved extremely attractive in a time where the real world was neither lighthearted nor social. New Horizons sold almost 14 million copies in just six weeks, making it one of the most successful Switch game launches in the system's history. That very same day, another game originally scheduled for a 2019 release made its debut, and it couldn't have been further from Animal Crossing in spirit. Little did anyone know that these would not be the only AAA games released into a troubled world, but while Doom and Animal Crossing were more or less finished before quarantine efforts began, other projects wouldn't be so lucky. The sudden shift to remote work was not easy on those working in the games industry. Teams comprising hundreds of workers found themselves learning to collaborate from home, without their normal infrastructure or workflow to lean on. As a result, almost every major release scheduled for summer or fall 2020 experienced delays. Naughty Dog's The Last of Us Part II was among the first AAA titles to experience delay. The studio released a statement claiming that supply issues for the physical copy of the game would delay its release by six weeks. Once that time passed, though, The Last of Us II released with no further delay or issues. In general, Sony exclusives stayed mostly on track in 2020, with Final Fantasy VII Remake and Ghost of Tsushima both releasing to critical acclaim. Microsoft's side of the story was a bit different. The software giant was already struggling to produce compelling first-party content before the pandemic, and the shift to remote work did little to help matters. Halo Infinite was originally announced in July of 2018 for a November 2020 release. But less than three months before the first Halo game in five years was set to launch, 343 Industries announced the game would be delayed until late 2021. Microsoft's woes continued in the hardware department, as the release of the Xbox Series consoles, as well as their PlayStation 5 competitors, had uncharacteristically late reveals for launch dates and details, leading to speculation that COVID-19 had impacted production. These claims had merit. The new consoles have remained out of stock since their launch dates, as both manufacturers struggle to meet demand. But perhaps the most dramatic development tale of the year comes from April, then September, November, then December. The long-awaited role-playing game Cyberpunk 2077 was repeatedly delayed, and the game's developers became increasingly secretive and controlling of information about the game. As the final release date of December 10th inched nearer, suspicions that the game was not finished grew, and whether due to pandemic-related difficulties, pure mismanagement, or a cocktail of the two, the final product still had serious issues that resulted in a tarnished, if still overall positive, critical reception. Despite these issues, Cyberpunk 2077 still quickly shattered the all-time record for most concurrent players in a single-player game on Steam within hours of release. While developers may have struggled this year, the industry has still grown and profited immensely. Doom and Animal Crossing's doubleheader releases during the first weeks of quarantine meant that March was a massive sales month, and retro game sellers reported that older games were selling better too with the price of retro systems and software inflating dramatically. But while local retro shops may have made a killing this year, not every store felt the love. National retail chain GameStop was already struggling before the pandemic, and a reduction in brick-and-mortar sales due to quarantine and local ordinances made clear to the public how dire things were behind the curtain. GameStop store managers were ordered to refuse to close if ordered by local government, and fought to have their sales associates labeled as essential workers. Digital distribution has long since been touted as the future of video game sales, and with both new consoles offering discless versions at discounted prices, it seems that may be a reality sooner rather than later. For the average consumer, gaming is an at-home activity only, but the pandemic has proven that in-person events play a bigger role than most realize. Spectator esports, trade expos, and award shows all face complications as a result of quarantine and travel restrictions. E3 2020 was cancelled outright, with many attendees opting to hold their own live streams instead. Gamescom 2020 was an all-digital affair, as were the Game Awards. Local fighting game scenes dealt with venue closure, lower turnout, and government regulations that forced weekly meetings to stop entirely. And while Smash Bros. modders attempted to keep things going, Nintendo was quick to strike down their effort with the DMCA takedown. However, through all the trials and tribulations, many developers and players alike were able to connect with each other in new, creative ways, keeping spirits up across the board. Esports enjoyed an expanded audience as a result of real-world athletes, like NBA players and Formula One drivers, taking to the digital versions of their sport as a way to keep fans engaged during their unexpected off-season. 
even games outside the realm of esports held events to keep fans social. Others, like Electronic Arts and GOG, gave away free games in their own campaigns, urging players to stay home and stay safe. Music festivals were held in Minecraft, Fortnite had a special Travis Scott concert, drawing a whopping 27 million players, while other musicians took to the likes of Twitch and YouTube in lieu of touring. Twitch themselves had a benefit show called StreamAid, where musicians performed to raise funds for COVID relief. The speedrunning charity marathon Games Done Quick held a special COVID Relief Done Quick event, where speedrunning talent from around the world remotely participated to raise money for those in need. Indie studios and industry giants alike participated in the Play Part Together movement, which saw games like Call of Duty including cheeky, quarantine-themed playlists and minor updates, along with more serious messages to encourage social distancing and responsibility. Even Pokemon Go, a game that almost exclusively relies on players leaving their home and congregating in specific real-world locations, managed to adjust mechanics so players could enjoy raid battles responsibly. Furthermore, even games that didn't actively encourage safe behavior helped to ease people through a difficult year. The social deception game Among Us saw a rapid rise to popularity in the latter half of 2020 as its unique take on the Mafia-style lying game it took social media by storm. Games like the previously mentioned Animal Crossing New Horizons allowed players to visit each other's islands in lieu of visiting each other's real homes. And aviation enthusiasts used Microsoft Flight Simulator to visit home for the holidays when doing so for real wasn't the best idea. 2020 is a year that most will be in a hurry to leave behind, and the games industry did not escape unscathed. But for every game-breaking bug, last-minute delay, or sold-out console, there's a story to be told about how games kept the world sane when sanity was a tall order. Communities and developers alike banded together across genres, cultures, and oceans just to make the time pass a little easier. And that's something that won't be forgotten.